being able to float freely in space. Mm -hmm. Just that feeling and looking out the window and seeing the earth go by. It's a very powerful experience, the first time and the 100th time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I never got tired of it, even after eight days. Mm -hmm. Just sitting, floating in space, saying how lucky I am. Yeah, how lucky? Lucky, mm -hmm. yes. Why do you feel lucky? Uh, because for two years I worked to get there. And, uh, you know, it was a tough battle, but I succeeded. And I studied physics when I was a student. And, um, you know, we always knew about principles of mass and inertia and orbital flight. And to actually experience it myself was very rewarding. Yeah, so, uh, if you, you have a chance, uh, you want to go to space again? Sure, I would love to, because I had a very good experience. I had no, uh, no bad experiences, no motion sickness. Uh, so, uh, you know, I have wonderful memories, and sure, I would consider doing it again. Also, you, you have to pay 20, pay 20 million? Well, maybe a discount this time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and second question. Uh, what, do you have some trouble? Trouble uh, uh, in the space. Tru no, I had no difficulties, uh, no trouble. Um, you know, I tried to stay out of the way of the crew. The crew is very busy, the astronauts and cosmonauts. So uh, you know, I offered to help, but most of the tasks they have to do by themselves. And uh, you know, so I thought the best thing I could do is, is stay out of their way and do my own program. Um, this is not a very sophisticated question, but... Right. Uh, you said, uh, Mr. Enomoto, uh, it's a very troublesome for the restroom. Uh, uh, oh. so, uh, rest, rest room, no. Yes, rest toilet. Spot. Yeah, toilet. Yes. Yeah. How, how is this? Oh, well, uh, because gravity doesn't work. Yeah. And anyone knows that liquids normally fall down. Well, in space they don't. They just fly around like everything else. So you have to be very careful. Um, the toilet facilities uses a vacuum. Yeah. So by suction, it pulls everything in. But uh, you have to be very careful. Yeah. Uh, and you know, accidents can result if you're not <laughs> careful. Yeah, so, so please tell us uh, your advice for uh, the next tourist. Uh, whoever the next tourist is, learn as much Russian as you can and uh, just enjoy it. Okay, I see. So, the next question is, uh, uh, I heard that you are uh, talking to the uh, high school students yes. with radio and uh, Sometimes you use, uh, are you talking to your family with a video phone? Um, I didn't use the video phone. Mm -hmm. uh, I only used a telephone and email mm -hmm. to talk with my family. The NASA astronauts have a video phone yeah. that they can use for short periods of time. Mm -hmm. But uh, NASA was very generous. They provided the uh, telephone and email for me. So I see. So you don't use video phone? I did not, no. Okay, so I see. And the uh, uh, next question is, uh, how do you feel uh, when you uh, launch uh, to the Earth, to land it? It's a very strong oh, yes. key. Um, it, it was rough, but I knew what to expect. Mm -hmm. So I, I wasn't frightened. Mm -hmm. um, the toughest part was when the parachute deployed because it suddenly pulls you upward and you know, shakes violently a bit. Uh, so that's, but I knew it was coming, so I, I wasn't frightened. No, not frightened? And, no, and I had the best crew uh, one could ask for. Ah, yeah, so especially with Mr. Krikalov. Uh, Mr. Krikalov, who has 802 days in space and has flown the Soyuz many times. So. And I saw the uh, eight through AP live videos mm -hmm. when you uh, landed. Yes. Uh, but the first picture is you. You have 
Eating some, some lemon or something? A pear. A pear? Yes. Oh, how is the taste? It was great. Uh, you know, sometimes fruit is uh, uh, not ripe, so it's very hard. Sometimes it's uh, too soft. This pear was perfect, and I was hungry. Yeah. So that's why I ate it so fast. So, but Mr. Uh, uh, Phillips yes. uh, looks big. Well, that's, Mr. Phillips is a uh, very strong athlete. Mm -hmm. He was in space for six months. Um, I was only in space for 10 days. Uh, the longer you stay in space, the more difficult it is to adjust. Um, I lived next to him in the same room after we returned. And by the third day, he was excellent. Uh, and each day, he grew stronger. Oh, yeah, that's good. So, yeah, uh, I'm preparing for a special TV program for the uh, space tourism. Mm -hmm. And when uh, Mr. Enomoto uh, will go to ISS, yes. uh, you, you have met him yes. uh, two or three times. Mm -hmm. okay. How is your impression? Um, I think he's very determined. I like Mr. Enomoto. Um, I, I think he's very determined. He wants to go to space very much. Uh, he's certainly a very smart man, and uh, I think he'll succeed. Uh, and, you know, if uh, uh, once he decides to go in, I, I think he'll do very well. Uh, he's very young. Yeah, that's the time to do it. Uh, why wait until you're 60? Yeah. Uh, do you know he's a kind of geek? You know. Uh, he's very enthusiastic with uh, animation comics yes. and uh, sci science fiction mm -hmm. novels uh, like uh, Star Wars yes. uh, and Japanese Japan, uh, uh, anime. Mm -hmm. So, uh, is there any kind of geeks in you? you are um, no, less so. I, I think I'm closer to an ordinary person. Uh, I'm not a genius. Uh, I'm not oh, a super oh, high IQ. Genius. No. Um, if you ask my professors, um, if uh, I was the best student they ever had, I'm sure most of them, if they were honest, would say no. But they would probably say that I was one of the most determined uh, students. And they all like me, and uh, they're all very happy that I went into space. So uh, let's talk about the people like Mr. Enomoto in Japan. Uh, we say uh, those people is uh, 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 hills people. Hills. 